Updated 7.40 p.m. October 28th Filmmaker and activist Michael Moore fired back at President Donald Trump's tweets calling his Broadway play a total bomb with a series of his own. Moore defended the terms of my surrender, saying, You must have my smash hit of a Broadway show confused with your presidency, which is a total bomb and will indeed close early. Not sad. Moore went on to point out to Trump that a U.S. service member was killed and six were injured in Afghanistan, saying you, our president, are not even aware of this. He added, you are aware I'm a B-waste or I guess this bothers you more. Sad. He then dug into Robert Mueller's forthcoming criminal indictments, as well as Trump's handling of the hurricane aftermath affecting Puerto Rico. Moore topped off his hissy fit with a tweet telling Trump that Twitter is the only thing he knows how to do, and how criticizing his play is a distraction. The final jab was a tweet that included a pic of Moore and Jared Kushner saying, For now, at least I know I still have one fan in the White House. Thanks for your unwavering support. Jared read his entire string of tweets below. One you must have my smash hit of a Broadway show confused with your presidency, which is a total bomb and will indeed close early. Not sad HTTPST. Kurds wow, Michael Moore at MM Flint October 29, 2017 to today, one U.S. service member was killed six injured in our never-ending war in Afghanistan. You, our president, are not even aware of this, Michael Moore at M.M. Flint October 29, 2017 3 You are aware I ram a B-waste or I guess this bothers you more. Sad, Michael Moore at M.M. Flint October 29, 2017 4 Prosecutor Mueller's grand jury has just approved the first criminal indictments of your administration. Are you trying to distract us from this, Michael Moore at M.M. Flint October 29, 2017 538 days after Maria, 34 of PRR fellow Americans have no electricity. Yet, you are more upset that so many people saw my B-Way show. Sad, Michael Moore at M.M. Flint October 29, 2017 6 They say Twitter distracts you from your presidency. But Twitter is your presidency, it's all you know how to do. Loser, Michael Moore at M.M. Flint October 29, 2017 7 And now, for this weekend, I'm your latest distraction from your crimes. Ha raucous joyous crowds every night on B-Way you missed out, Michael Moore at M.M. Flint October 29, 2017 8 It was the highest grossing play non-musical of the summer, despite my offering $29 cheap seats free student ticks so all could afford, Michael Moore at M.M. Flint October 29, 2017 9 is announced on May 1st, it was always a 1-2 W-E-E-K-O-N-L-Y run, due to my commitments to my upcoming primetime TV series my new movie, Michael Moore at M.M. Flint October 29, 2017 10 on Broadway, Donald, they call it a limited engagement, just like we're planning on making your presidency. Michael Moore at M.M. Flint October 29, 2017 Earlier in early Saturday evening tweet storm from President Donald Trump focused on director and nemesis Michael Moore, characterizing the filmmaker's no-shuttered Broadway play as a total bomb and was forced to close. Sad Trump has previously delighted in pointing out low ratings and other foibles of perceived rivals in show business, most prominently Arnold Schwarzenegger on a new version of NBC's The Apprentice. Moore's performance, The Terms of My Surrender, ran for 100 shows at the Schubert's Belasco and was scheduled for a limited run. It did $367.6 thousand dollars, or 47.2 percent of the house's potential, with tickets averaging $58.80. While not at all presidential I must point out that the sloppy Michael Moore show on Broadway was a total bomb and was forced to close. Sad, Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump October 28, 2017 The one-man show with the polarizing filmmaker used satirical humor to make commentary about America and its politics. Guests at Moore's shows included the likes of Brian Cranston, Gloria Steinem, Maxine Waters, Stephen Colbert and Morgan Spurlock. In August, with guest Mark Ruffalo, Moore led the audience on a post-show march to Trump Tower to protest Trump's statements on the Charlottesville violence. Moore said after the show closed, My 100 performances on Broadway represent perhaps the most fulfilling experience of my career. Having the opportunity to play the Belasco for tens of thousands of New Yorkers and people from around the country and the world, with a simple and urgent message, has been one of the great honors of my life. And I am deeply moved to be so warmly embraced by the Broadway community. He added that he planned on returning to Broadway at some point with a new play and a new one-man show. Two days after the final bow, Moore said he planned to take the show on the road in 2018. As for the terms of my surrender, Moore said in a statement via his PR firm, there is no surrender we'll be taking our Broadway show on the road next summer before attacking Moore. Trump reiterated on Twitter his previously revealed decision to release all files related to President John F. Kennedy's assassination, confirming the moves via Twitter.
Trump said Friday night that he would release all documents related to the JFK assassination, despite some alleged last-minute attempts by the CIA and other agencies requesting that he withhold certain documents. The president said he consulted with his chief of staff, John Kelly, as well as the CIA and other agencies, and would release all files other than the names and addresses of any mentioned person who is still living. I am doing this for reasons of full disclosure, transparency and in order to put any and all conspiracy theories to rest, the president tweeted. He later added that things were ahead of schedule on the release.